So here we go. Now, first things first, we want to know what we want. As always, read that question here. Read that question. What do we want? Right up here. So what we want, everybody, in one or two words, you know, as short as you can say, in that red highlight, in the question sentence, what is it that we're looking for, everybody? What do we want? What do we want? Everybody, in two words or less here. So I see people saying, um, stumped, read the question, the amount saved, right? The amount saved, the money saved, how much money do you spend with a discount, amount saved, money saved, final price, amount saved, amount saved, amount saved, how much was saved. That is going to be it. It's the amount saved. Let's go ahead and read along here. Let's really take it slow. Right here. So how much will Andrew save on the purchase? How much will Andrew save on the purchase? So everyone, let's think about it naturally in the real world. Like, because the thing is, when it comes to percent tax and discount, this is a very real concept to a lot of us. So if I'm thinking about this in the real world, okay, I'm buying an item. I use a discount code. Okay, I pay less now. And on my receipt, it says, oh, you saved this much money. So we're looking for the amount that we saved. Or essentially, is it fair to say, that the amount that we save is the same as the amount of the discount. Is that fair to say? The amount that we save is the amount of the discount. Yeah, it is. The amount you save. And notice that I'm not gonna always baby you with this, right? I'm not gonna say directly discount because that's not what every problem does. You have to be able to read the key words and know what it's implying, know what it's saying. I'm trying to make you a stronger word problem reader here, guys. So the amount that you save, so how much, so the amount and save is discount. My ass bad party, people. Hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept, from adding and subtracting decimals to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you, and it makes learning as easy as possible, and we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp which is also included in our full program, and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way, you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying, and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Boot Camp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please, Check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. So what we want is the amount of the discount. Write that down, please. And thank you, right there. We, yeah, exactly. That's right, Fisher. We want the amount of the discount, the sale discount. Yep, we want the discount. Now number two. Let's write the information down that we have. So here we see Andrew is buying groceries for this much money and he's going to apply this discount at checkout. So everybody, did the discount get applied yet? So I'm basically asking you, what does that 121 represent? Is that 121 representing before the discount or after the discount? Is that representing before or after? Yeah, it's the, it's the amount of the groceries before you get to the checkout. It's before you apply those discounts. No worries, and that's what we're going over for sure, right? Alessa, that's what we're going over step by step here. So here, Andrew is buying groceries for $121 and will. Think about the word will. It didn't say that he did already apply a discount. It says that he will be applying a discount. So hopefully that can make a little more sense in terms of the past tense here going into the future. This is what the amount was, the 121, and we will apply a discount. 
So hopefully that's another way for us to really, you know, get our feet wet and, and get into that. So boom, let's go ahead and uh, highlight that here for $121 and will apply a 40% discount at checkout. So everybody, what does that mean? It means that the $121, looking at your notes, original discount amount, discount percent, final cost. Which of those four does the 121 represent? Jessica, boom, that's gonna be right there. Yeah, that right there is going to be the original amount. Booyah, that is the original. That's before that discount. So let's write down that 40%, everybody. The 40%, what is that again? What does that represent? Is that a tax or a discount? Is that a tax or a discount? Right, that's a discount, sounds good. Great, sounds good. So everyone, let's go ahead and get back to the, uh, the, the, the connection here. We figured out what we wanted. We want the amount of the discount. We saw what we have. We have the original and the percent of the discount. So should we do the whole start from 100 and subtract or should we just apply 40%? So what should we do? Should we start from 100% or should we just apply the 40%? Which one? Let, let's think about that. Okay, so a lot of us are saying apply the 40. Some of us are saying start from 100. It's pretty half and half right now, actually. So here's the correct answer. Remember what I said, the the percent that you're applying represents the amount that you'll get. So if you apply the 40% discount or the 40%, just do 40% of that 121, that will represent the amount of the discount. If you start from 100% and you subtract the 40, that's the final cost percent. And that will give you the final cost amount. We're not looking for the final amount, right? We're looking for the savings, the discount. That's what's gonna tell us, hey, start by just doing 40% of the 121. Start with just 40% of 121 and you're good. And here is your regularly scheduled announcement, my party people. Remember guys, I host a free class every single week and more classes beyond that. So make sure to check the group tutoring schedule so you know when the classes are, when you can expect to see me live so you can raise your score and get that job you want. So click there to see the schedule and let's keep getting back to the YouTube video right over here. So let's go ahead and prove that here. If we apply the 40% of 121, everyone, what is 40% as a decimal again? Yeah, that's gonna be 0 0.40 or 0 0.4. It's not going to be 0 0.04. Remember here, watch. One, two, point four. So you can get again 0 0.40 or 0 0.4. They're the same thing. Any extra zeros at the end, you can get rid of because it's the same thing as saying 0 0.4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, forever. We're not going to go through all that. We can shorten it and be just fine. And so here, 0 0.4 times 121. Remember, because this represents the percent of the discount, the answer is going to represent the dollar amount of the discount. Again, the percent that you apply is the amount that you get, always. I gotta repeat myself a million times there. The percent you apply is the amount that you get. Since we wanna find the amount of the discount, we want to apply the percent of the discount. Easy does it. If we were looking for the final amount, then we would apply the final percent. Two different things. So here we go. Right here, 121. Multiplied by 0 0.4. Let's get it. Let's get to work here. 1 times 4, that's going to be 4. 2 times 4, that's going to be 8. 1 times 4 is going to be 4. 
And so what we do here, everybody, is move back how many decimal places now? Right, just one. Just one here. Boom and boom. So that'll be 48.4, which is the same thing as saying $48.40. That right there is the amount of the discount. Because again, what the percent that we applied was the percent of the discount. So this is the amount of the discount. So yes or no, everybody, does the process make sense? If we wanna find the amount of the discount, apply the percent of the discount. It's, it's seriously that straightforward. It's similar to proportions where we say, compare the same things in the same way. Same idea here. And so booyah, there's our answer, and there it is, D, $48.40. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there, and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you wanna raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe, and raise your score.